Hi, this is Ben Finio with Science Buddies, and this video will show you how you can build a toy car and even use it for a science or engineering project. Every car has four main parts. The wheels, the axles, the body, technically called the chassis, and the power source that makes the car move. To build your car, you'll need to decide what materials to use for each of these parts. First, you should decide what will power your car, as this could affect your other design decisions. One simple option is to just roll your car down a ramp, like a piece of cardboard or a piece of wood. You can also make a car that is powered by air escaping from a balloon, a stretched rubber band, or even a sail that catches the wind. Next, you should decide what to use to build the rest of your car. There are many options for the chassis, like a plastic bottle, corrugated cardboard, a tissue box, or a styrofoam block. For the wheels, you can use round objects like plastic bottle caps or CDs. You can also cut your own wheels from material like foam board. First, trace something circular like a roll of tape onto the foam board, then use scissors or a hobby knife to cut it out. You might find that some wheels don't have enough friction and they slip relative to the ground instead of gripping it. You can fix that by wrapping a rubber band around the edge of the wheel, or using a hot glue gun to add a bead of glue around the perimeter. The axles may be the trickiest part of your car to build. They're what connect the wheels to the chassis and allow them to spin. Without axles, your wheels won't spin and your car won't move. To build axles, you'll generally need long, skinny, and cylindrical materials, for example, wooden skewers, plastic straws, pencils, or paper rolled into a tube. There's more than one way to connect the wheel and build the axle. For example here, the wooden skewer is taped directly to the piece of cardboard, and the wheel spins on the skewer, so the entire axle doesn't spin. Here, however, a straw is taped to the piece of cardboard, and a wooden skewer is inserted through the straw. The wheel is fixed to the wooden skewer, so the entire axle spins along with the wheel. There are also different ways to attach the wheels to the axles. For example, with a plastic bottle cap, you can poke a hole in the middle of the bottle cap using a hobby knife, and then press a wooden skewer through the hole. Friction will be enough to hold the wheel in place. That doesn't work with CDs because the hole in the middle is too large. So for example, with this car, a lump of modeling clay is used to attach the CD to a pencil. To build a balloon car, tightly attach the neck of a balloon to one end of a straw using a rubber band. Inflate the balloon by blowing through the other end of the straw. Make sure the end of the straw is pointing backwards, and when air escapes from the deflating balloon, it will propel the car forward. To build a rubber band car, tie one end of a rubber band to one of your axles and hook the other end onto your chassis. When you wind the axle up, it will stretch the rubber band, and when you release, it will make the wheels spin. To build a sailboat car, poke a wooden skewer through a piece of paper and then attach one end of the skewer to your chassis. Once you choose all your parts, you'll have to figure out how to connect them. Different office and craft supplies like tape, glue, rubber bands, paper clips, and binder clips all work well. You can build your own unique cars like this sailboat car, this balloon car, or this rubber band car. You can race them against each other just for fun, or turn this into a science or engineering project. For a science project, you'll need to pick independent and dependent variables. The independent variable is something you can change, like the type of wheel your car has or how much weight it carries. The dependent variable is something you can measure, like how far your car can go before it comes to a stop. For an engineering project, you will repeatedly design, test, then modify and retest your car to make it better. This process is called iteration. For more information about each type of car shown in this video, click the links in the description. 